Meditate for a while as you are hearing this word that the Lord has speak to you this morning. People of God, this book is not a story. This book is a history. Amen. Hallelujah. What I'm going to share to you, it is not a story I'm going to talk to you. I'm talking a, a history that has been taken place on the face of the earth. Can I hear what Amen church? Enjoy the word of God. This God talk, he doesn't talk the tales of the stories of a, you know, a, a artificial thing. He talks about the things that is going to happen. He talks about the thing that has happened. He talks about the things that are going to happen into your life in Jesus' name. That's what is called the living book. And what the story I'm going to share with you is not a story. It's been happening in the history, in the lives of people, in the lives of uh, 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 Persians, uh, in the life of Israel, in the life of Babylonians, in the life of the Middle East country. This is what the story is all about. Glory be to God. People of God, you got to understand this. This is an Isaiah, a prophet, who is talking about a country called Israel and is foretelling the people of Israel what their future is going to be. And my God is a God always talks about the future. My God never sees your path. My God never sees your mistake. My God never sees what you have gone through. But my God sees your future and that's the reason he gives you a promise. Promise is always hidden in the future. Amen? Promise is always hidden in the future. That's the reason our God is a God of promise and a God of miracles. Amen? Hallelujah. For you to see the promise, you got to step into the miracle realm. May God help us this morning. Please listen carefully. I'm talking. The reason I'm taking this time to tell you how oh my God works in the history of the people. Amen? Hallelujah. I'm excited this morning. Not because for any reason. Because God is a God who moves in your history. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a God who moves into your affairs, who moves into your families, who moves into your problems, who moves into your circumstances and you tell you, hey, I'm in control of your situation. I'm in control of your life. I'm in control of your circumstances. I am in control. I am God who sees the present and the future. Amen. Hallelujah. We are talking a God of that caliber. We are talking a God of that kind of uh, attire and uh, magnificent or whatever you call it. We are talking a God that really involved into your day to day life. We are talking a God He really involved into your circumstances and situation and tell you, hey, my son, my daughter, I'm holding the future. Amen. Hallelujah. That is a God I serve. When God called me, that's a God I trusted. That's God I believe. I never believed in any, any of the other circumstances. We just believe God and we step in because He know my future is in His hands. Amen. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Amen. Everything is in Him, created in Him and for Him and through Him. We are in the center of the will of God. 